old school perfume. I've been on a hunt uh, like this. I haven't shared uh, a video with anybody about this stuff, but through this whole year, uh, the stuff I've known about outlawed ingredients, reformulations that have to happen, I've hunted down quite a few stuff. Um, today, <laughs> I found some really, really good treasures. And um, I didn't feel comfortable with unboxings when I started. They weren't part of my structure. I wasn't comfortable. I am now. It's all good now. Um, this is vintage, probably masculine cologne perfume off the top, but beautiful. Applies to ladies too. I just, I'm not chasing down the vintage lady stuff, but um, I would recommend it. I mean, stuff just smells 10,000 times better. So um, that's what this is. Let's get to it. Just I'll, I'll unbox the three that I got, the three treasures, treasures, treasures that I got today. Um, unboxing videos are my favorite. They're a lot easier than normal ones. We need to roll up both sleeves here. All right, let's get into this. Oh, the two. Here we go. And I've, I've showed these a lot on Instagram. So this this is something I bought last year. This this is my gym right here. This is my favorite thing, Emmanuel and Garros, number three. The the cap, they still sell this, but not in this cap. This formulation is just launched in '93. If you look up the notes, I don't have the notes memorized. I mean, he used vodka as a top note. Just forward-thinking perfume uh, is what this is and it just smells golden it has patchouli vetiver and oak moss I mean back in the day it was one of the three you would never combine all three all three in this one just a monster masculine dry down um, yeah this this is a treasure it was one of my top oh I did the top 10 uh, men's designer list so that was in there and so was this other one that's right. So that's where I showed them. But um, these three are brand new that I did today. So Bio Giotti's Uomo. This freaking good, man. Just good stuff. So those are two that I bought last year. Two of my... I, I bought quite a bit of them. Um, I think I'm at like 10 and then added three today. So I'm at like 13 or 14. Uh, I bought um, Thomas early Greek. Uh, he did a little a Balenciaga one and that sample is out of the world. I should have bought 10 of them. But uh, my philosophy really is, like I could have bought these out where they were at, is I want other people to stumble upon these treasures. I could have bought them out and flipped them for like five times the price. A couple of these that I got. But I want people to stumble upon these treasures. It's part of the fun when you're out and about. I mean, it's we're in a, a world today with online shopping where treasures are so hard to find like this. So it was just a real treat to get back to that and find these in the middle of nowhere. And I was just like, wow, caught my eye. This is cool stuff. Thomas, if you want to blow it up, you can. All right, let's do, check this one out. I mean, you can still buy this in today's formulation, but this is old. This is an old bottle. I wish they had all five of them. They don't. This was the only one they had. So, Jacques Bogart, one-man show. It's a EDT, a 15% concentration. Just 80s style everything. So, let's, let's spray this on. Really don't want this on clothes. It'll stay forever. Look at that sprayer. Did you see that? Just the old school chemicals are all there. Those aroma chemicals. Just powerhouse oak moss. Everything that you're looking for in your, your masculine cologne. I'm, I don't know notes on, on, on any of these. I just knew that I wanted this in the vintage formulation. They had a tester. I tested it. It's just good stuff. I mean, you can even, even the writing's going good. Boxes were brand new. The The sprayer was empty the first time I sprayed it. it took me three times before any spray came out. Uh, one man show. I want to say lavender is in there. I haven't looked up any notes. This is brand new to me. Just a bright, old school. 
I don't know if it's a Fougere or not, but it, it's in that category for me. I would say way over a Chipre. <clears throat> Just lavender and oak moss. I, I get, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but one man show right there. Let's do the other one. This was the special one. Check this out. Well, it's in the title. Check this out. Well, if you know it's special or not, but Balenciaga's. Oh, hen. <laughs> Lucky to have it. Let's just say that. It brings smiles to me. I had a chance to buy this six months ago and didn't. I really didn't know what it was. Luckily, I did today. Just your 80s plastic cap almost broke it right there. Just reminds me of <laughs> all the stuff from the 80s. Check that out. EDT 100 ml. Balenciaga. What, what I know is I know anything for Balenciaga is just mint right now. If you can find Balenciaga's, I mean, I just know to jump on it. So that, that was part of my excitement. And then we sprayed it, and oh, my gosh. Just oriental of, of 80s. Imagine, I don't know if it's one of the first orientals ever made. I'm sure they had them way, way old school. Gerlano and whatnot, but as far as 80s powerhouse oriental soft musky with all those buoyant aromas in there yeah yeah i mean look it up pohang balenciaga just a cool treasure to have it's 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 soft and loud at the same time does not scream oak moss does not scream spices just like a lot of those classical compositions um we're, i'm trying to think of a couple but the, the ones that weren't they didn't this projects probably a foot it's probably medium telled you probably have a two to three foot project it's not it won't ho hang will not fill a room but it's just a pleasing air oriental scent Almost ambergris. I don't know. I'm, I doubt that it's in there, but just a beautiful air to it of the base. I mean, again, I have to wear these, and I, I'll probably never do a full review. You can't buy this. I, I'm, I guess the vintage market got really big. If you go see, I didn't pay what the prices are on eBay. I paid retail <laughs> for this. Um, but if vintage has got real big or I got really big into them, I would do full reviews. This is just, this is about you finding treasures and, and letting you know. There's still a ton, a ton, ton, ton out there. Especially with the new stuff if we just did. Again, this year, so last year was pretty much Oak Moss is done. It's ridiculous how little you can use. It's, there's no point. If, if anybody says they're using it, it's doing nothing to the composition. And then this year, Jasmine was took a big hit. I mean, I, we, we can go through the popular base layer if you want to. I can tell you the next ones. It's pretty easy. People, they say it's about rashes, but whatever. Man, this is good. Just, it's, it's, a, there's, it's sweet and dirty in a new way that, that I haven't had before. I'm not familiar with this one bit. I bought it because the Balenciaga name, and they let me test it. And, and I loved it. I was like, I'm, I'm getting it. It's maybe ambergris. It's yum. It's good. Good stuff. It's really good stuff. I mean, Balenciaga, I don't know how they're not around anymore. They got bought out by oh, Lapidus. I'm not positive if that was them, but they did get bought out by somebody like that. They were just, I wish I was around and knew about them when they were making stuff. This is the second one I own, and they're both are mint out of this world. All right. Anybody heard of this one? Photo? Lagerfield Photo? Cellophane wrap. This is the only one that had cellophane, that cheap 80 cellophane. I'm surprised it's not tinted still. Kind of is. I don't know if you guys could catch that camera. It barely got a tint to it. I don't even know if this is EDT or not. I'm sure it is. I mean, even EDTs from this era are almost pure parfum of today's era. 
it's an EDT, 125 ml, just your normal cardboard box. I'm gonna be careful. Just can't replace this though. This is cool. I'll check that out. I have never. Oh no, I have. I've tested this. I did not today. I've tested it before. Back when I didn't know anything about vintages, like a keyring cap here. I don't know where else. The back of my hand, I can spray. I was like, I don't know where else to spray. Oh, my wrist, I guess. That would be a good spot. I'll spray it on both wrists. <laughs> Doesn't mix with the other stuff. Look at that. Three. There we go. It's like fresh. <laughs> Reminds me of something. Some fresh herbs, herbals in there. It reminds me of spring. Fresh herbals, florals. I'm guessing patchouli's in it. Bright, tad sweet with the florals. It's really good, too. I mean, this is, it's, it's old. You, I mean, when you smell it, it's like, oh, I remember those smells, us, the older people. I mean, kids nowadays smelling this, though, I don't, that'd be a fun video to get the young kids to see what they think about this classic stuff, the classic aroma chemicals, the classic compositions. They're so different than what, what's out there today. This is a fresh, sweet floral. Wasn't expecting that. I was expecting heavy like the others, but... There you go, Lagerfield photo. I hope you enjoyed my, my treasure hunt, the treasure hunt video. I, I wasn't going to do a video of them, and I'm like, eh, I got used to unboxings, might as well show it. What are your treasures from your town? What are you guys, do you guys into this stuff? Do you guys even give two cents about reformulations and, and losing these heavy-duty base ingredients, our oak mosses? Our roses, our jasmines are gone. All this stuff. I mean, I, I th this is this is fun for me. If if this shuts down for me, if this channel shuts down, everything goes away. I'm literally going to be happy with my collection for the rest of my life. Not not buying it, what I have now. Now now is it's just all gravy. Everything I'm finding now is gravy. Couple more things on the list that that really don't complete it that I really want, but. It's and I share it like I, I took my took some good stuff in to share today and um, <laughs> the person there they got knocked out with uh, oud luwak they they couldn't loved it and I was like whoa just because they never didn't smell it and I was like D don't smell that one that's, that's beast be careful so as soon as I said that they even got more excited they knew they knew what they're getting into sprayed it <sighs> fell in love. I was like, there you go. Gave him the info, and I'm like, yeah, look for that. That was just a fun reaction to see. It's fun to get this stuff. The, the older gentleman that was helping me, I mean, he grew up with this, so it was fun for him to see my enjoyment out of this stuff that he's been around forever and him sharing his knowledge, picking him off a little by little, and he's just giving me more and more. Just great relationship, great people, great journey, great community. Yeah. So hope you enjoyed this little video, guys. All right, I'm out. Be blessed.